Good morning everyone, welcome back to Chris RD Gymnastics Music Sports Channel Ishon. and today we are going to watch the performance and winning performance or the whole competition of EJ Ubiena in the Memorial Joseph Gras Gasparak Osiji Croatia if that is if I pronounce it right World Athletics Indoor Tour Bronze all right it was this happens last uh, February 19 2024 and hope you subscribe, like, and share to this channel. And pasensya na po kayo kung kailangan ko ipakita mukha ko dahil uh, YouTube requires it so that we can have some reaction para maipakita natin ang um, mapanood natin lahat this competition. So this competition will run for 2 hours. I hope you will stay for 2 hours so that we can see and watch how EJ Ubiana won in this competition together with his colleagues. This is going to be an exciting competition. Thank you very much! Alright, so manunod tayo nito lahat. Two hours yung competition, two and a half hours. I hope natapusin yun yung video. Panoorin natin ito hanggang kakatapos-taposan. This is the whole competition. So, pure men's pool vaulting siya. Unlike naman sa mga Inter World Championship. Um... Unlike sa World Championship, ano siya eh, uh, simultaneous. So, this competition is just ball bolting lang talaga siya. So, narito yung mga, ano, um, top 3 ng mga most of the each continental games. Pan-American games, European games, Asian games, and also the... African Games and also the Oceania Dito narito yung tatlong um, top 3 ng Asian Games si EJ Obiena, si yung taga China top 3 ng Asian Championship pati si Hassan ng Saudi So this is the maganda ang battle na to Of course, we are cheering for all the Asian Asian team. So may opening video sila about ito na pinapakita yung ano pinapakita yung last year event. So, ito na yung competitors. They will be introduced. Bronze medalist siya ng Pan-American Games 2023 from Mexico. Okay, 5.62 pinaka best niya na talon. Team Championships later in the summer, so really good year 
than a 27 time national champion, I believe. Oh. Croatia. From Croatia. 27 times a gold sa national event. From Slovenia. Okay. I'm gonna make a portion portion of this event wherein you can skip this video and if you don't want to watch the introduction and go through immediately to the competition we will be putting the parts of the video where you can just click there from Hassan from Saudi the bronze medalist on Asian Games silver medalist 2023 and silver medalist the, the Asian Championship 2023 from Saudi Arabia From China, siyempre. Um, bronze medalist ng Asian Championship 2023 and silver medalist ng Asian Games 2023. From America. Oh, five point seventy two pina matas and pina loan. Portuguese national record holder is up next, Pedro Bravo. From Portugal. Oh, 5.82 pinakamataas siyang naitalon sa record during the competition. Uh, record all, for all of his competitions. 5.82. From the Philippines, E.J. <laughs> Obiena. But 28, yeah, heavy favorite, favorite here. 28 man na uh, mapunta sa 6 meters club. <laughs> Local superstar. Siya yung uh, star ng Croatia sa pole vaulting.
Ivan Horvat had to say to certainly fire the crowd up. He's got a new baby, Horvat, in the last couple of months. The baby arrived in September, so I'm sure he's a bit short on sleep, but doesn't look, doesn't look it there. He looked very excited to be here and jumping in front of a lovely crowd. There are some junior events or, or B and C events, if you like, going on tomorrow. A lot of those athletes will be here soaking up the atmosphere, having a look at the elites. They flipped it this year. Last year we had the B and C pools the day before the elite pools. And they've turned it around. I'm sure just uh, local scheduling and how that works over in Croatia. Just ten men. I love the setup here. They've each got a mat. They've each got a chair. Plenty of space to relax. Chinese uh, Paul Volter. I said another athlete on their season opener. CJ, they go warm up, up stretching. Nice wing jacket, EJ. <laughs> CJ, nice jacket, and my Kalabanya. I go over the pan. First up to jump should be Jorge Luna of Mexico. We're going to work our way through the competition. We'll see who's passed at this height and who does want to start nice, nice and early. So near in on that meeting record of 572. So, again on the women's So, sampu silang um tatalong dito. Si Ichi yung may pinakamataas na personal best. Si Ollie ng USA 5.82 min ang kataas niya. Highest the best personal best of course is that 6 meters season's best shared by Pedro Bravo and Trey Oates both of those on 582. So Horvat looks ready to jump. He should be third in the order, but it could be that Luna and Barta pass at 5'11". Both the Spetis spectators and the coaches have fantastic access to the athletes here. This gentleman has decided he wants to sit where there isn't any chair. There isn't a chair, you're going to make yourself... Oh, he's showing someone else to their seat. Really good atmosphere and just lovely to have those young kids down there by the athletes where they're warming up as well. And lapit to my expectations and my atleta. So I'll be there. Word on the state of pole vaulting in the world at the moment. Uh, world leading markers with Chris Nielsen. It's rather bizarre. That's 601. Oh, bizarre seeing Mondo de Plantis down in fourth overall behind three strong Americans. That might all change on Thursday at the All Star Persh meeting. You know, the villainy organises that, and that's when Mondo got his world record last year at 6.22. So we very much expect the Swedish superstar to do something special on Thursday. That will be streamed on the European Athletics Facebook page. If you want to tune in for that. Perhaps today here in Croatia is a chance for Obiena to put a marker down for the likes of Mondo de Plantis. Sam Kendricks, Chris Nielsen, those guys to just sit up and pay attention. It's often a bit of a waiting game to see who wants to go all the way through to Glasgow in terms of the heat of the world. Okay, it starts then the competition. So Jorge Luna is going to attempt. No, he's not. Dan Barta is going it's to attempt. Dan Barta. 11. So we've got a pass from the Mexican. Dan Mexican. Barta to open proceedings here. Oh, oh uh, stay up. Great they job. County lang, matik na. Nice Great Barta. job, Dan Barta. So there's a lot in the women's competition. It was. I was thinking it was another Czech athlete, Nikola Poshlova. Poshlova was very lucky. She hit the bar a whole bunch of times on the way down, and it stayed up. So it must be a Czech thing. Matik na. And there she is. She heard me talking about her Nicola Poshlova. Competed earlier on. She's going to be lending coaching eye to Dan Barta. Okay, from Croatia, Ivan Horvat. Best five twenty-five is the national record holder with that huge personal best of five seventy-six. Set back in two thousand seventeen. Carolina von der Home earlier on today. Twenty-one national titles. She can do. Ivan Horvat can do better. He has 27 national, Croatian national titles to his name. Oh, that's big. That's nice. That's good. Nice one. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, yun, nasaktan siya na, na injured. Mukhang na injured siya. Ayan, no? May injured agad. May injury agad. Kasi mala pa lang. Grabe. Last na, di na siya laban. Na-injured agad siya. Sayang. Sayang. Baka, na, baka hindi niya siya masyadong nag-practice. Or... Parang masakit yung masakit yun. George Luna from Mexico. Ayan, ito na. Nangyari sa ano niya. Wow, ano man. Sige lang. Good job. Nice one. Oh, that's huge from Luna. Miles over it. Medyo nakakatakot din yung pagbagsak nila, no? Mamaya, mamali sila ng bagsak. Air is their friend. Dan Barta. 5.21. Ang sunod. He will try to clear the 5.21. Good, good, good. What is this? No hulog. Nice, isn't it? Great job. Yesan from Saudi Arabia. Silver medalist on Asian Championship and bronze on Asian Games. 5.21 now. He will do the 
the tutelage of the town of Petro. Mm, same coach with E.G. Obiena. Oh, ah, sayang. Almost too big there for Mr. So, yung coach ni EJ at coach ni Hassan, si Petrobe. So much height. Pareho so sila ng coach. I don't know what to do with it. He had a few clearances like that early on in the women's competition. And I used a niche reference, so apologies. Ah, sayang, no? Tumama. But for me, that's when you do a clean, but you haven't got any weight on the bar, and you're trying to get your technique right, but you've got nothing to work against, and you're almost flying around. With too much time and energy to spare, but there is Vitali Petrov. We're going to see an awful lot of him tonight. He's got a bit of Al Hazam, Ambukai, and Ernest John Arbiena to be looking after tonight. So we're going to get a good old look at Vitali Petrov. But I don't think you have too much to worry about with that jump there. Clearly, plenty of height to spare for Al Hazam. You do always worry it's an early failure like that going to count against you later on if we get a few clean scorecards, but it's too early to worry about that. So Huang Bukai is up next in the jumping order, training partner of Hussein Al Hazam, and he's on his season opener, so you might expect to see Huang Bukai have a jump here, kind of a rust buster. I'm still focusing on Hussein Al Hazam. It'll be that no one else is attempting this height yet, so we are staying with Al Hazam. Yeah, I've been 5 521. That means we've got passes from the whole of the rest of the field at this height. We've had a clearance from Jorge Luna and Dan Barter, so Hussein Al Hazam will have the spotlight on him until he clears his 5 meters 21. Let's go, Al Hassan. There you go. That's good. Well, excited to see re side on replay of that. Good job, Al Hassan. So much time to spare. He has jumped 555 this season. I mentioned we're here in kind of the eastern corner of Croatia. Buff na buff si Al Hassan. To get to, to Saudi kasi. Perhaps a bit of travel in the legs for Hussein Asim. Pag Saudi, malaki talaga mga build nila. This is what I like to see. This is very, very old school of Vitaly Petrov. There's no smartphone in his hand, no tablet. He's just using verbal instruction. He's both backs yeah. on the women's side. Everyone is very much digital at the moment. Take a video of it, look at it straight away, and match that up to the intrinsic feeling you had when you did the jump. Because you go back years and years, you didn't have that technology. It was very much the athlete relaying to the coach what they felt, what they thought would happen. The coach inputting with what they saw and then figuring that out together and uh, there's certainly some old school coaches out there that stick to that nice one why, why bring in something artificial something something external that helps you with that analysis if you don't need it and uh, Vitaly Petrov has probably watched uh, who knows how many jumps that man has watched and he should be able to nice ang technique ni Petrov old school I wonder hindi mo kailangan ipakita yung video someone like Hussein Al Hazam Sa ita lang, sabihin niya, oh, ito, ito, ito yung nangyari sa'yo, itong ginawa mo, ito ang dapat mong ayusin, medyo may mali ka sa gaitong part. It's better, that's better. 5.21 for George Luna. So, EJ hindi nila ginagawa itong 5.4, 5.5, parang immediately 5.6, 5.7 na siya eh. Eventually, he was a Central American Caribbean Games champion last year. Nice little title to take in that area. And back that up with a brilliant bronze at the Pan American Games in November. Athletics indoor bronze level meeting, so loads of points up for grabs for these athletes. They bid to sneak themselves into Paris if they can't can't hit that 582 qualifying mark. Oh, so young. High off Luna, just catches the bar on the way down. So young, 5.20 Luna. The A plan for going to the Olympics is 
hit 582, your B plan is pick up enough ranking points along the way. So incidentally, of course, we have got those World Indoor Championships in 10 days' time. The, the road to Glasgow, you can have a peek at that on the World Athletics website, where they compile all those rankings and figure out the 12 athletes they want in Glasgow as those invitations are accepted or rejected by various athletes. The window to affect that road to Glasgow has finished. That finished with the national championships this weekend. So any points accrued here by these athletes will be for the outdoor season. Again, if anyone's not quite up with the world rankings, it's your five best performances over over a predetermined period that will be decided by World Athletics for each Parang yung, kung dito nang mo dito sa camera, no? Parang yung roof, parang medyo mababa siya. Pero mata mataas naman siguro yung roof. For sure, mataas yung roof. Pero sa camera, para mababa yung roof, no? Dan Barta, again, he will do to clear the 5.21. Masyadong ano siya eh, hindi ganun ka-flexible. Kung si Duplantis, tinan mo, nag-ano agad siya o, nag-bend agad. Si Duplantis talagang pinupush niya muna ng push na push bago mag-bend. Pangit yung form niya. Pangit yung form sa pag nag-bend agad siya. Just brilliant to see athletes supporting other athletes. 5.31 now for Hussein Al Hassan. Al Hizam, sorry, it's Al Hizam. Sorry. In a recent ruling by a World Athletic, no suggestion for a change in the long. Si Alang talaga ang tatlo ang magagaling sa Asian ni. Si Al Hizam. At saka yung isang Chinese. Kasi EJ. Wala nang iba sa Asia. It does open up a can of worms and you say, well, what if you did that in every event? You know, the equivalent in pole vault, use lasers, use stuff like that to measure really how high people have gone. So we've all watched these these athletes do pole vault and think, they were absolutely miles clear of that. What was it? Um, you know, if you look at Al Hizam here, his, clear, his failure at 521 was absolutely massive. It was very, very high. When you measure that standalone, you could say, well, hey, look, he's jumped the highest today. Yeah. But I think it's a certain honor in athletics, uh, nailing the event, the technical aspects of the event as well, hitting a long jump board absolutely perfectly, getting over a bar in succession as well. Let's so go, Al Hisam. At that stage in the competition, rather than skying a lower bar. Oh, that good. good. Al Hisam. Nice one, Al Hisam. That's good, that's good. Sixth place in Budapest. Silver medal sa Asian Games. A lower position in China in the the World Championships. Huang Bukai was the top finisher for China. Five point thirty one for Huang Bukai. That's his best five seventy five. That's his indoor best. And outdoors, he's matched that. Let's go, China. Oops. Yeah. Similar to his push. partner, Al Hazan. Big height, hit it on the way down. Ali Petrov, what's he thinking? I know. Well, these guys aren't listening to one tiny aspect of his technical here. Some forms Some needed to be done. To, uh, I know. See if Juan Bukai can make similar adjustments as his aim, Al Hazan. Oh, this could be Ayan. really oh. solid. 
We should adjust more. Alright. So it means training partners. Lahat sila, si Petrov ang coach nila. Si EJ, si Al Hassan, tsaka si China. Sa top 3 Asians. USA occupy five out of the four out of the top five jumps of the year. Sayang wala si na Chris Nelson. Top of the pile was 601, Casey Lightfoot, six meters, Sam Kendricks, 595. It's great to see the likes of Carson Waters. Three eights here today. Here goes Carson Waters with his opening jump. Bang it on form. Yung mga tao sa gilid. <laughs> Nakatakot, baka maan sila. <laughs> Madisgrasya. Shucks. Takot. Oh, yun o. Na ganun agad siya. Dapat medyo mali siya ng estimation. So, nang talang, sabagay, if nasa air ka na, medyo mahirap kang mag-estimate. Nang dire-diretso kang nagalaw. Pedro Voro, 5.31. He will try the 5.31. Mamaya si EJ maglalaban kasi... Mataas na siya. Hindi niya na kinatry yung mga 5.31. Nasa 5.6 na siya naging simula. Or 5.5. Or 5.6. I think 5.6 siya naging simula. Yeah, that's good. Good 5.31. Pero pag basta taas na na meters, medyo mahihirapan siya kung ganyan pa rin yung form niya. George Luna. Mas maganda nga dapat nakatak in, no? Kaya sa si Luna nakatak out yung kanyang suot na trouser. Ano ba ang tawag dyan? Kasi pwedeng sumabit yung damit niya dun sa pull stick. That's good. That's good. Great job, Luna. Five point thirty one kay Dan Barta. Dan 
Barta is representative of the Czech Republic at the World Youth Championships, European Juniors, under 23 Europeans. Pole vault crossbars. Pole vault poles. Oh, his nice. Put in each mama a bar. The poles was good. To mama sa bar. <laughs> He's gonna look at that replay one and go. I think there's about three or four things I could change there. Covers and shelters. Pull both boxes. Caught the bar on the way down. Let's see what Colors. the time is. Sixth placer from Budapest can do here with his second effort at 5:31. Season's best. This is the season opener. He can get over it. Bokai Huang. He will try to do the 5.31 clearance. Kasi kanina nahulog siya. Yeah, nice one! Nice one, Bokai Huang. Good clearance. When you're in control of the pole like that, we can see from Hang Bukai, you've got the time to leave that second hand on it and push and get another lift there. And that's when you've got perfect pole control and you're right over the top of it. And so often we're seeing these athletes, if, if something goes ever so slightly wrong, that pole kicks out to the side, everything's going skewed. The one of the coaches of AG Obiena, Huang Bukai and Alhizam. Carson Waters is way off to the left hand side, hit the bar with his feet on the way up with his opening attempt. That's good. Let's hope that's uh, settled the nerves. That's a input reflection here, ready for his second effort at Night and day between Castle oh, Waters first. Nice second. one, nice. Oh, I love that. I love it. That was big, that was nice. It's lovely. That's how you do pole vault. Just, just erase that first attempt from our memories. Mm. This is a much better athlete than he looked in his first attempt. That's much more on track for him. see a fair number of passes from some of these men. There's some huge clearances here. Do you warm up, get presented to the crowd, do one jump like that and I would say that lets you know you're still on track, you're still limbered up and ready for a good jump. You'll be expending energy on your 540s, 550s and whatnot if you're a 570, 580 jumper. Of drill there from Dan Barter just showing exactly what he's trying to achieve from this. I was wondering whether you've changed poles. Next jumps a bit really differently, but the one who's practicing with there looks like the one he's had throughout the competition. And this is the bar going up to 541. So you should see Jorge Luna up first, I reckon. Unless he's passed. No, there he is. He is getting ready. at the moment. Okay, Bolo leading the way because he's uh, just got the one jump and one clearance. He's the only man with a clean scorecard at the moment. So Pedro Voro ng uh, Portugal ng una. Kasi hindi pa lumalabas na AJ. It does look like Ivan Horvath of Croatia has retired just that one really good clearance if we're honest at 5.11 for the local man.
taking those birds apart. It's like a very, very sore. He will try to do the 5.41 Kai George Luna of Mexico. Ayon. The second he'd finished it, he indicated that the scoring couldn't take any more. So the American based Mexican up next. Big clearance at 5.21. Big clearance at 5.31. Here he is with the first attempt at 5.41. Oh, awesome! Very clean. Straight that pole was absolutely on top of it. No mess. Hey, chat for five point forty one. Hey, to mama, nang slide. Buti hindi na hulog. Uh, because the pressure ng hangin kaya siya na ganun sa pressure ng hangin kahit hindi tumama yung katawan then bar top for 5.41 meter medyo hirap din yun na kasi Parang dito sa mga pole vaulters na to, si Ali Hazam lang yung ano, Ali Hazam lang yung ano, yung buff yung katawan. The rest of them are petite. Ouch! Sayang. It's fine. Okay, he's adjusting mid-air there, Zambata. You know, but it's like he's in the forms, yeah. He's in the good forms, yeah. Straight up. So we should have had Ivan Hall back next. He has retired with a sore groin and also hearing it's a non a no start for Robert Renner of Slovenia. He was due to be next in the jumping order. I was wondering if he'd been passing. Uh, but unfortunately, the Slovenian has been drawn injured as well. Injured na. Nung kalaban ng atleta, mga atleta, injury. Five point forty one of USA Carson Cody Waters. Oh, good, good clearance. Pero kung isipin mo, oh, paano kung if they will if their personal best is 5.51 lang. Tapos for them para mahabol na yung podium, kailangan ng pagdaan yung 5.6, 5.7. Paano kung nagkaroon ng milagro no, nag magkaroon ng adrenaline. Shadows lang pagod yung mga mabababa yung mga personal best. Kasi yung mga personal best is 5.5 lang. They cannot start in 5.5. They will have to start more below. So pagod talaga. Medyo predicted ba na dito kung sino mga mananado eh. Unless if anything goes right. Because sometimes kasi during the competitions, maraming pagbabago ng pwede mangyari. It depends on the emotions, mood, or condition ng atleta. Kahit sa gymnastics, ganun eh. Kahit sobrang gagaling na nila ng World Championship, World Records sila, World Medalist. Pagdating sa World Cup, nawalay yung ibang mga World Champions nung uh, World, um, 
World Cup Cairo. Pang ganun lang din. Ouch. Hirap. 40 hours or so of travel. Wow, sayang. Tumama agad. Ayun o. Medyo kailangan yung, yung adjustment. Kailangan ayusin. Everyone else a rough first attempt and they've gone and sorted it out so let's hope that Trey Oates can do the same here looking back at that so to say was it really just 540 up there it felt, felt more like 580 today Dan Barta hit the pole on the way down 5.421 again very, very for Dan Barta he knew what he wanted to change what he, what he wanted to execute and Would be a season's best though for the Czech athlete. Czech Republic. Very dazed crowd here. Let's see kids down there as well. Alright, Barta, second attempt. Yes. Oh. Pa rin. Is there a slight form niya eh. Look at the form of his feet. See yo. Oh. wide open. Nagkakaroon ng leg separation. Parang sa gymnastics ten to eh. Lahat naman ng sports talaga. Um, most of the sports and foundation talaga gymnastics eh. Like, dito kung aayusin niya yung form ng legs niya. Siguro, at least from the pole. Tapos yung paa niya. Huwag mag-leg separation yung paa niya. Tapos magiging okay. Siguro kung babakasan nila yung ano, leg separation. Trey Oates. 5.41 Trey Oates. Could not your confidence ever so slightly. Let's hope Trey Oates can make the adjustments here. That's more like Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Pretty much every one of these men has had a very good second attempt. Turn to the crowd and gone, almost gone. Sorry, that's what I do the first time. Let's get on with this competition. The Trey Oates has got a, got a height on the board. 5.41. So just Dan Barter of the Czech Republic trying to get over this one. There's two Americans that to be supporting each other, but they'll have to marry that up with the timing of their efforts and we've got Jorge Roven who was due to be supporting Robert Renner, the Slovenian but with the withdrawal of Renner Jorge Roven had a bit more time to support Oates and Waters Dan Barta last chance to Loon unfortunately uh, last chance to Dan Barta in uh, Czech Republic so 5.41 clearance I hope you will stay because two hours tong competition na to. Still have a one and a half hour. Ow. Sayang. Si EJ Obiena nagahaantay lang siya dun sa likod. <laughs> Pa turns niya. Kasi alam ko mag start siya ng 5.6 or 5.7. So if there are any competitions, if they're trying to, if they feel like they're in the form to get the 
qualification mark for Rome. And that's the end of the road, unfortunately, for Dan Barter. Came in with 10 men. Ivan Horvat to a groin strain. Dan Barter being outdone here by 5.41. And Robert Renner, unfortunately, Slovenia not taking a jump. Yeah. Na injured jun taka Slovenia. The pole go the far go up to five fifty one. Saya. And as with every other height, Jorge Luna is going to be first. Pag ganito, pwede matulubo si E.J. Oviena bago siya tumalun. <laughs> Season's best at 5.51 for Jorge Luna. He's at the top of the pile at the moment. First time appearance at 5.41, as did Waters. Bit of passes from Hussein Al-Hizam and Juan Bukai and Pedro Bravo. Jorge Luna, five point forty one for Jorge Luna. It's a very active pole drop. Gravity does a little bit. You're almost fighting against gravity and then working with gravity just as you move towards a really active pole plants. Very delicate balance. Got to be the most complex event in track and field. This. Go Luna. There's Jorge Luna to open, open proceedings at 5 meters and 51. Ah. Form again. That was my so adjust. Yeah. Nippier up there the rest I of the know. time. It's fine. I don't know. He can develop that as time goes by. Can we get a look again at Hussein Al Kazam? I've seen him for a little bit since so that huge clearance of five. Five point. 41, Kai Al Hizam, Hossein, Asim, Saudi Arabia. So, friends, they're in China, same coach, Silla, Petrov. NCAA should be four in a train. Sitting around for a while, I think. Lose your eye ever so slightly. See if he does go and talk to his coach. Francis University. Something was wrong there. The athletes will be having a look at their markers down there for their last few strides and their takeoff. And if you're off, if you're not in sync with those, it's just, just not worth even having a go.
5.41 kay Wang Bukai ng China. Let's go, China. Oops. I don't think he touched the bar there. I think he <laughs> the illusion of a clearance there without actually getting anywhere near the bar. Let's have a look again. Yeah, all the bar ah, okay. in front of the bar. The Chinese athlete, very lucky. Oh my god, masyadong delikado oh, malapit. Oh my god. Oh, MG malapit siya sa ano oh. my god. Pwede siyang ma-injured doon. Oh, MG. They do seem to be laughing about that. Because if you touch the mat, it counts. So, Hamba Kai can't try again. Sa crossbars. Hindi, hindi crossbars. Ang tawag, ang tawag doon. Base pad, vault standards, pits. Sa pits. Tawag sa kanya sa pits. PB pits, oh my lord. Muntik na. Kung nakatama siya doon. Kapapusan niya. Water's first attempt at 5.51. Oh, oh. <laughs> the ceiling there. Sayang. Waters. 5.51. It really coiled up there, swung his legs incredibly quickly. And then always hung upside down, shot up into the sky. Yeah. Hard to tell quite what the change is there. Change whether that's the takeoff mark. Pedro Bravo up next. I'm seeing him since his huge opening effort at 5.31. From Portugal, Pedro. Guaro, 5.41. We already had one national record this afternoon. Hannah Fleckner netted the 18-year-old Hungarian national record by one centimetre, 456, the mark she hit. Someone else has broken the national record this season, not yet here today, though, in Croatia. That would be wonderful if we could get a shot at some national records here on the men's side as well. Guerrero trying to maintain his clean scorecard at Five meters fifty-one. Oh, mm, sayang, mama. Yung nga eh, kapag masyadong open yung legs mo, delikado, okay na sana o. Oh. Ayun no? Kaya dapat you should be feet glued together dapat, legs glued together. Two time world medalist. He's coming in at 5.51. Oh, yeah. Ichi Obiena will start in 5.51. Just a different athlete since then. Obiena was one of the first recipients of the World Athletics Scholarship. Oh. Scholarship ng Pie and World Athletics. Good. The last time we saw Anishan Obiena. He's being supported by World Athletics. To take the gold medal ahead of his two training partners. Hong Bukai was second. And Al Hazam of Saudi Arabia was third. 5.9 si Ichi Obiena nung uh, Asian Games. The Asian Champs and the Asian Games. And three medals. What a bunch of show offs. Oh, <laughs> that was 
Si si, mani lang. Mani, ang 5.5 kay AJ. That's a lot of experience. He let go of that pole so early. He had to. It was getting away from him. It was going the wrong direction. How on earth? Obiena got over that. It was always horizontal as well. No Warm up na ka EG and 5.5. Five five. Five. Let's get a shape over the bar. And, uh, looking here. Okay, all right. Maybe, I don't know, Petro Fatale using that iPad. Let's give him credit for being extremely old school. But anyway, Obiena is clear with his opening effort. Only just. Luna up next with his second attempt at 5.51. Second attempt in Luna. 5.51 at 5.51. Uh, European Athletics votes for here. Oh. Oh. Just feeling at the last minute. was closer to the box than he wanted to be. I could just be a matter of being almost too hyped up if you're carrying extra speed. See that a lot in long jump. Triple jump, the horizontal jumps, you can get so hyped up, you come up on the board a lot sooner than you should be. Five point five one. Okay, Al Hizam, if he clear here. Let's go, Saudi. Yeah. Run through for Al Hazam on his first attempt, if I remember correctly. Let's go. Oh, aye, you did. OMG. Trouble here, Al Hazam. He is at 5.55 this season. Got a problem with the 5.5. Oh my god, lap it now. My God! Tapos, <laughs> ang lapid yung mahulug dun sa ano? Sakit yon. Pano kung discrash yasha? So, Vitali Petrov is renowned for the delayed leg swing. But if you mm. delay your leg swing, you sometimes mm. can really, really change your trajectory. And if you've got athletes that haven't been with Petrov for that long, maybe they're trying to. Who knows? Who knows? There was a 5.51 Kai Huang Bukai. Huang Bukai. That's the athlete we saw do what? Look, head on. Look, look like a textbook pole vault. It's just totally in front of the bar. Let's see if Huang Bukai can push himself. Oh, wasn't happy with that either. Okay. Yell no. Can I have a hand sit there? This is exactly the point in an Olympic year where. Be testing out new techniques. You might have learnt. Be working on something in training. I think these men have been out in Portugal training. And they say, All right, can we come and bring this to the competition arena? And at the moment, home Bakai, that's just not working at all, which is bizarre. A huge, huge clearance at 5:31. Yeah. So I don't know if they've introduced a bit of technical element here. It's both home Bakai and Al Hazim are struggling. So. Cross the waters with his second attempt at 5.51. Knocked it off on the way down just now. So 
just off the end of clear here at 551 we've had a pass from Trey Oates everyone else on a second and third attempt so second attempt now from Waters and Guerrero before we move on to third attempts let's see if Carson Waters can be the second man over 551 and the American good oh, oh sayang I thought he had that, was close. Oh, Just on the wriggler's way out. Counting na tama niya ng slight yung He's bar. Just there, so he didn't hit it hard. I know. Ah, too much trouble there for the bar to stay on. Ayun no, yung kanyang tuhod. Knee hips chest is too much. Yeah, knee hips chest. So, Waters will have to go to last chance saloon. He joins Al Hazam and Amber Kai. Two failures, Pedro Brado of Portugal. Up next. He's broken the senior Portuguese record twice this season. Started with 5.75 in his first couple of competitions. Even higher, five eighty-two in the national record. He's led Carolina Bonderhome, the sixth-place athlete from the women's competition. And we see behind her as well these athletes. So happy to hang around and watch on. Five point fifty one now. Let's go. Uh, Good. Similar, I, similar. I, similar. <laughs> Sayang. Hirap na hirap silang clear yung five point fifty one, no? To mama din yung kanilang mga knees. See you. We've got Obiana clear. Trey Oates passed. Everybody else on a third of final attempt here. Jorge Luna. Saying Al Hazam, Juan Bakai, Carson Wilson. Pinakita lang ni Ijin na maning maning M5.51. Wala talaga. Hindi nila kaya. Luna ulit ang Mexico. So 5.51. 5.58 ang personal best. Season best niya is 5.52. During the Pan American Games. Yes, that's good. 5.51. Great job. <laughs> Pero hirap na hirap sila, no? Sa 5.51. Kasi season's best kanila, 5.58 lang. Debrief there between Mr. De Oresti and Jorge Luna just to see what went 
right and what went wrong. How did they turn that from two two? Last chance. Ni Al Hizam sa 5.51, 5.7 ang personal best niya. Season's best is 5.55. Shaky attempts here if we're honest at 551. It was a huge clearance at 531, and then he passed. Hmm. Wait. Fighting to stay in, we've just seen Jorge Luna with an inspired third attempt. 5.51, let's go, Ali. Oh, ah, it's a little. Oh, like oh that's good! <laughs> nice one, 5.51. These men are going to be getting here today in RCF. It's, I think Al Hazan will be hoping to be having to do this sort of thing at 580s, 590s. Nice, 5.51. In the next few months, as we were here in Olympic year, but. It's still lessons. You can still learn those lessons here at 551. To pull out a jump like that when the previous two attempts were very, very shaky. Was, uh, really classy from Al Hazam. He lives on two out of five. Wang Bokai. Bokai up next. He totally missed the bar on his first attempt. He was way before it. His second attempt, he ran through. 5.51. Sit place of Budapest join. Oh, ano. maayos to ni Huang Bokai. Medyo copyrighted yung music. Let's go. Ayo, no. Three out of five. All right, this is good. We're on a roll. Ah, congratulations, China. Stay in as well. Okay, lang yan. That's much better. It wasn't huge. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't massive. We saw from his five thirty-one. Mm -mm. Well over that. Oh, oh, apologies. Apologies. I take it back. I didn't see the bar come down there. My bad. Yeah, no. And I took that reaction from. Juan Bakaya, sort of one of those kind of, oh, I should have done that ages ago. Oh. Sayang. Okay, apologies, that is three failures for Juan Bakaya. Iba pala yung ano, coach ni Juan Bakaya. Pero si Saudi and Philippines, isa yung coach nila. Sorry kasi kanina ng host si Petrov din yung coach ni Juan Bakaya. Juan Bakaya, but... Hindi pala. Good drawing board he's starting from. This is his season opener. He did have a good season last year, so I'm sure the Chinese man won't panic. And as we mentioned a few moments ago, Han Bukai still has a chance perhaps to go to World Indoor Championship. Carson Cody. They might decide after today's performance he's got too much to work on. And they might decide, let's expose you to that competition environment again. Siguro pagkakaroon ng mahabang buho, pag during your pole, your pole vaulting, it will affect your speed. By an inch of minutes. Dapat taka ano? For me, dapat taka tali yan. Sayang. It's fine, bro. Big respect to you. Cool lang eh. Kinulang sa push. Kulang sa push. Oh my god. Ang pangit pa ng kabagsak niya. Ouch. Yung sa ground. Delikado. Bits 
on the European Athletics YouTube as well. So get yourself another device, both up there. See how the likes of Sarah Mitten and Jessica Shield are getting on, or Leonardo Fabri and Tom Walsh. stream here very much about pole vault at the moment very much about whether Pedro Guerrero of Portugal can jump on here from Portugal to see and and clear ng, I believe this is 5.51 also yeah Let's try for the 5.51. Keep that momentum going so you can get even higher, learn more. He's just best in 5.82. He should have to clean this, to, to clear this. 5.51. He can do this. Oh, great job! So, makitiyata yung kanyang ano, back and chest. So, right side. Nice one. Controlled consolidation jump there. You might have your, your A technique or your A ambitions and the way that you'd attack a jump. Sometimes you've probably got to put it back to basics. But either way, whatever Pedro Bravo did there, that's was a lovely, easy clearance. Lots of time at the top. He's so, makit yung, ano niya, yung back muscles niya, yung trap. Slightly, what do you call that? It's not quite armpit, is it? Slightly yes, armpit. Back. Yeah, slightly injured back. Siya. It's strange to push. Mag push na dito, nasaktan siya. Mahirapan na siya mag-clear sa mga susunod na ano, meters. Okay, that's it. Bar up to 561. Our contenders will be Jorge Luna, Hussein Al-Hizam, Pedro Barro, Trey Oates, and Ernest John Oviena. Fantastic prize money here on offer at this World Athletics Indoor Tour Bronze Level Meeting. 1,000 euros for the win. 85421. We go down to sixth place. And then an extra 500 euros for a meeting record. That stands at 572 at the moment. Shared by Manuel Carolis and Pilcher Lisek from last year. Due to go 561, 568, 573, the next three heights. And then who knows where it will go. Had the one jump from Oviana. 551. Shot so far, probably the exit of Frank Mackay. Chinese happy. Just a little bit rusty, perhaps, in his season opener. So, Jorge Luna had a nice clearance at 551. So, we can keep that momentum rolling here into 561. This would, would be one of the highest jumps. Ernest Genoviena nangunguna Pedro Bora so sila maga try ng next will be five point we still have one hour to go hope stay kayo tapusin natin tong laban na to ano ori natin ang laban ni EJ Ay, sayang. Look really aggressive and positive on the runway. I mentioned a few attempts ago. If it's, if it's too much, Wala na. over cricket there on the runway. Ano na mali isha, okay. Kasi siguro yung pag, pag ganyan nila ng pole, mali na yung ano, natusukan or yung naganunuhan. Saudi Arabia up next. 
two bad attempts at five fifty two. Fifty one pretty much run throughs and then a really nice clearance. This for Nice season's best. Five point six one. Yon. Okay, Ali. Let's go, bro. I am win. Ops. Cool lang. Cool. Kido lang sa push. He's underneath there on the bar. The trajectory for me, it's it's not quite firm enough over the bar. He's getting height and he's got momentum, but it, it just loses that forward momentum. Ayun do ah, so na cool lang siya. Kailangan hindi mo na siya nagbend, more push pa dapat. That's up with the bronze at the Asian Games. Eliminated the previous height in the word of his coach, which always saying, Don't worry about it, it's the 20th February. Yeah, actually, parang. I know. So, next up, Pedro Bredo of Portugal, the new senior record holder. Five point six one kay Pedro Buaro. Jesus best niya is five point eighty two. Kaya niya to five point six one. I think he's in shape. Take the push. Ups. Sayang. First attempt. Okay lang. May three attempts pa. Yun yung coach ng China. Yun naka green na ano. Sweatshirt. Kasi nagkaroon na siya ng ano eh. Masakit sa mga. Parang masakit yata yung ano niya. Hinahawakan niya pa rin yung pecs niya. Pec. Yeah, it's pectoralis. I know, back is back, back, back. <laughs> you want some swimmer's muscle? It's the first time we've seen Trey in a few minutes. And he passed at 551. His second time clearance and his opening height of 541. Here he goes for his first attempt at 561. That's nice. Nice one. Good, good. Kept his focus very well. I shouldn't call it a Chris Nielsen backflip. Many people can do a backflip. Ah, nice one. Good clearance. Great push. And also the distance is good. Luna aborted his 
first attempt here at 561. I, I, my interpretation, you know, watching with these camera angles, that it was, it was on top of the box, it was too close to it, couldn't get his pole down. Looks very out to that poor Hayley, and you need that energy and that gumption to attack these heights, but you've got to be able to control it, temper it. Copyrighted the music, that though, for sure. <laughs> Let's go, Luna. Ouch! Madi na masi guro ang ano niya. Yeah. Siguro madi yung pag ano niya, yung pagkalagay niya ng Paul kung saan niya dapat ilagay, yung position. Such is the peril of the vertical jumps. Before you know it, that is it. One last attempt. Oh, last attempt na ni Luna. Out na si Luna. Ito pa kasi nang coach. <laughs> Luna is going to be full of frustration here. It looks yeah, so frustrated good siya. in some of the earlier heights. Ali. The opportunity to do a deep dive into one event like this is, is just wonderful. It just shows you. 5.61 for. This is gonna be the season's best. Uh, not the season best. Yeah, for season best for. Al Hisam. On his arm, trying to get that feeling okay. He's not been able to. Attack his first attempt at 561. For saying Al Hazam looking for support on his second attempt at 561. Yeah. Remember, it's the third attempt at 551. Lots of jumps already for African Saudi Arabia. I almost think his best jump we've seen was his first failure at 521. It was massive. Kulang to. Kulang sa push. Kulang sa push si Ali doon. Yeah. Ano? Ayo, kailangan nga ayusin yung technique niya sa paghawat ng vault, ng pole. Ayun, no? Masyado yung kamay niya for me. Parang ito, tapos dito parang ang layo. Why not hawakan niya dito dito para pag mag-push siya, mas mag-push na niya maigi. Yes, that's good. 
That's good. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. Luna of Mexico. Last chance for George, George Luna. Sa 5.61 niya. Jorge. Oh, how, how come it was pronounced Jorge? Say George. Oh, George. Well, as bagay, it's Portugal. It's Mexico. That's why it's Jorge. Ay, wala na. Sayang. Tumama yung paa niya eh. Just need to learn those adjustments. Yan no. Medyo kaya kailangan siyang baguhin sa technique niya. It's fine. Eliminated. Ouch! Ayan no. Stress the coach. Did you see athlete is stretched then? If you want to have a look back at the full scorecard for this men's pole vault competition, you can find that on Open Track. The link to the result is just embedded underneath the YouTube video you should be watching here with European Athletics. And you can have a look back at the women's scorecard as well. We had a women's competition about three or four hours ago. Helena Pollack of Greece took the win in a new meeting record of 5.56, and there was a new national record for Hungary for Hannah Kleckner. Train natin to. Si Sam. Last chance for Al Hizam for 5.61. You should have to clear this. He has to be 5.7. Personal's best. Ah, shit. The mama. It's fine, uh, Alizam. Thank you for those performances. Yeah, mau in pa There are um marami siyang dapat baguhin sa kanyang mga forms and techniques also. Ayan, no? But he is a very good potential para mas mag-improve pa. And he has Petrobe. Hmm. Oh, nice. Nice. Magkambal. Tana, twin sister. Huge jumps when the bar was at 5.21, 5.31, but 
whether the fatigue has set in or whether Al Hassan was trying to work on other things there with his coach. Whatever it was, it's resulted in three failures here at 5.61 and Jerome's Jorge Luna on the sidelines. Bardi to go up to 5.68 next. with one failure at 5.61. I think he might have passed. This could just be the officials double checking the heights. Five point six one clear next to Pedro Boru and Oli. So Robert Renner he needs well, to um withdraw because he may problem with the injured. Still in the prize money, it's four hundred euros for fourth, two hundred for fifth. We have our top three. Diana Bravo and Oates will jump on. Follow the form, but the next height should be 568. They might have had a chat among themselves. Figure out if that's quite where they want to go next. Let's see, where's this bar gone? Jumping order will be Pedro Berbo, Trey Oates, Obiena, wherever they have decided to send the bar. Everyone else eliminated. Down to three. Okay, tato na magalaban laban. Laban na dito si EJ. They skip the 568. It will go to 573, and that would be a new meeting record. Getting the mark of a piece of carrots from 12 months ago. Croatia. Those men prowling around down here. Obiana giving nothing away. He's had a very, very quiet afternoon so far. Just the one jump at 5.51. I'd love to mic these guys up at this point and, and see what's going on down there. So, okay, 5.68. Um, all these men have jumped higher than that this season. <laughs> Get them back that. You get a bit matchy and say, yeah, sure, I don't mind if we go to 573. That's no big deal. I didn't want to jump in sequence. I, I could see a pass here at the 568. Won't mean anything to these men. Bravo and Oates have done 582 this season. Obiana might need something between 551 and, and the likes of 580 just to get his eye in. Still have at least 40 minutes to go for this competition to end. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying here, for watching with me in this competition. And it's such an honor, I know. I'm so thankful that you're continuously watching with me and supporting these Filipino athletes and all the athletes of the world. 73. So, this is a meeting record, and we get a fantastic light show. We were treated to that a few times on the women's side. 5.73 Kay Pedro Buaro. Stopped at 5.56, the joint new meeting record on the women's side with Honak and Klechner. Let's see what Pedro Buaro can deliver here with his first attempt at 5.73. Oh, it's well out. The mama, sayang. Okay. And Pedro Berto. Again, you can see his legs aren't together. Yeah. He's fitting his legs. He's trying to find balance. Mama legs. Yeah, not quite in sync there for Berto. Okay lang. Back in that over the 580 at the US Championships. Argument though, 
can jump higher at altitude, less air resistance, bit more speed on the runway. Okay, so it does actually coach high school athletes as well. It's really nice to work with kids and you know, a lot of athletes that say that it does actually help your own technique if you if you coach as well. It makes you think about it in a different way. It's actually coaches his wife, we mentioned that at the start of the program. And as a former athlete myself, I can't imagine anything worse than being coached by my husband. We've had arguments galore, but I'm sure it works for the, for the Oates family. Trailer is out here in Europe on his own. Enjoying the ride, enjoying gaining experience in Europe, I'm sure. 5.73 now. Yes, 5.73. Pero Sisu's best day is 5.82. Shala, he can uh, clear this one. Sayang. Oh, it's a good job. 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 It's a good Ang cute ng socks ni EJ. <laughs> Okay, 5.73 ang isa try ni EJ, Vienna. Oh, it's mama. Sayang. Okay. It's fine. Vienna. Warm up lang. Yeah. Ayun, <laughs> hindi ba kanya? Tinapon niya. Hinuwa ka na. Tinapon pa. <laughs> Weird. Good character kay Anhizam. Pinapakinggan niya lahat ng sinasabi ni Petrov kay EJ. Ang mga Arabs ganyan sila eh. They want to learn a lot. Especially pag nagsimula pa lang sila. Again, and thank you very much for tuning in here. And please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share.
stadium. Portugal, United States, Philippines, very global sport that we love about track and field. Athletes from all over the globe competing in each and every event in the men's pole vault. It's a wonderful example of that. 5.73. The try clear ni Pedro Waro. Ouch. Similar. Masakit na kasi yung dito niya, oh. Padaki niyang hinawakan yung... Traps muscles, yeah. Because the patient's from here to here. May injury na siyang slight eh. Siguro may muscle tear na ng slight. Sana hindi naman masyado. Pero mahirapan na siyang gumalaw. It has his best. To perform at his best, it will be hard. Magkakapatid. Nakukuyot mga magkakapatid. <laughs> Good. Ay, sayang. Sayang. Ayun, o. Sometimes yung pressure. Ano nangyari? Tingnan natin. Yeah. Very minimal brushing. It's fine, bro. Again, thank you very much for tuning in. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you again, Anna. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share to this channel. We'll try our best na masubaybayan yung mga non mga non copyrighted videos na competition ni EJ before the World Championship, before the World Indoor Championship. So for ano kasi sa World Championship dalawang beses ang World Championship sa isang taon, World Indoor at World Outdoor. 5.73 and kaya ang isa-try na i-clear ni EJ. Let's go. EJ. And he's got it. That's uh, he got it. Great Australia. job, EJ. Unsurprising. Really. Nice. 5.73. As a meeting record holder, you got an athlete of this caliber coming to your meet. You get excited. You can see the crowd all pulling out their smartphones as he was at the top of the runway. <laughs> he is the first man over wow. here. His third jump of the whole competition. And it's a meeting record. 
hindi ko record Ang tamaan niya eh. Buti na lang hindi nahulog. Bravo and Oates, third attempt coming up at 5 minutes 73. Doing the EJ. And thank you very much for joining here. And please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Kahit medyo ano na tayo. 1 hour and 37 minutes na nag nanonood together. <laughs> Silver medalist Obiema clear. Oh, is that Obiema changing holes up? That could be a sign. Pedro Varro. Not last chance for Pedro for 5.73. Five point seventy three, the meeting record. Uh, yes. Yeah. Learned from my previous mistakes. That's Pedro good. Watching that bar fall down, that is fantastic, of Pedro Bredo. Great job, Pedro. That's yes, good work for them. Nice job, Pedro. One last opportunity for the American Trey Oates, the fourth placer at their US championships just a few days ago. One last shot here at 573. He's already up in the season of his life. It's 582, new personal best. Five point seventy three for all in three. Third attempt for 573. Let's go, bro. Ah, oh, oh, sayang. Not day. meant. Good height there in the jump. Just gonna have to wait another day to try and jump in the 580s over here in Europe. He's achieved it at home in America. Let's hope he's in. 
Well, not meeting, but coming up later in the week, a couple of really high quality meetings taking place in France. Streamed on European Athletics channels. Ayun, tumama ang tuhod. Grabe. He can have to... He should learn how to... Ano problema ni... Ano kayang ano? Asian ni AJ dito. Pero qualify niya si AJ sa Olympics. Nag-a-adjust sila ng ano, ng, um, ng meter or ng height. I think mag, uh, ano, ayun no. Medyo na-injured siya oh. Standard in base pads, pits. I think the PB pits. Muntik na siya dun. Yung PB pits ina ano? Na adjust nila. Malamig sa Croatia. Dito rin sa Oman, malamig dito. Kwentoan mga tayo ng kaunti. Abang di pa si AJ nag, uh, nag lumalaban or nag uh, try, nag clear. Malubig, malamig dito sa Oman. As of now, malamig siya talaga. Malamig nagkabago ang panahon. Iin ka lamig. Pero kasi medyo magkapalitan ng weather. Pero malamig pa rin. Kasi Croatia malamig din. Yeah. 
Kusong i-challenge ni Duplan ni Obiana si Duplan, please. He can do that. Uulan next week? 6 degrees? Monday and Tuesday? Third attempt na ba? Let's go. 5.83. Kulang sa push. Yeah, he needs to be explosive here eh. I don't know. Agility. Yeah. Pag na-deplete lang ang ATP, or are you using tripospate? Medyo mahila. So, no luck for Brero with his first attempt. Over to Obiana. Try to the EJ. <laughs> Tuturuan sana ni Iji yung kamay niya Para magkaroon ng laway Mukhang hindi niya gagawin Nagdaalangan siyang gawin Magkaroon sana siya Pero hindi niya na ginawa <laughs> Go EJ. Five eighty three. And it's another meeting record. Wow. Puts himself seventh on the twenty twenty four list, and Obiana. New meeting record. Kung hindi pa po po na si EJ sa indoor bronze na to is, may dapat magkakaroon ng meeting record. Indoor tour bronze. Sa Glasgow. Awesome. Ang ganda. Nag-improve na si EJ. Kasi may coach siya eh. Pero pag athlete ka, tapos walang coach, medyo, uh, ano nga kanina, pag kukumpit nun sa isang international and world event. Nakikinig si China. Sakit talaga, dahil sa chest, feeling ko nagkaroon ng slight injury, muscle tear sa pectoralis major at sa straps. 
be getting over 583. Just remind you, if you can have a look at the results, you can put the YouTube, you know, minimise your window a little bit whilst we have a lot of action jump going on, and there should be a link just below to open track. Scorecard and this men's elite field as well. How the athletes prepared? Sure, not to miss this. Pedro Burlo's second attempt at a new Portuguese record. It's that right shoulder he's struggling with. Yeah, right shoulder. Yeah, Power it affects his. Nag affect to yung pag extension niya ayon ulit. Yeah, na lat laga. Really illustrated there with the attempt. Pakit talaga yon. Pedro Berto is getting tired and tired. For me, this all look for a man that knows. I'm not sure I have the calibre yet to beat Fabiana. I've already jumped a national record this season. It's already the Olympic qualifier mark. I'm not, I'm not saying that Pedro Guerrero is giving anything less than his best effort, but it's, it's got to be really hard. He's very, very tired. He's done a lot of jumps. His shoulder's hurt. You can see it in his body language. He knows he needs to get himself up for his third and final attempt. If it goes well, all that pain, all that fatigue will just evaporate in an instant. Mm -mm. You need to put yourself through these situations as an athlete. Before you know it, this will be him on the runway in Rome at the European Championships in the summer fighting for a medal. Similar fatigue, similar frustrations and difficulties. Pedro Guerrero is going to pull on all of his resolve here for his third and final effort at 573, 583. Kaya to. Medyo nahihirap yung ibang European. Si Petrov ng Portugal. Season Specials 5.82 eh. Kaya niya. The clock will have been running throughout that discussion. It's been nice and warm here in Osiak. Osiak. Hindi pa ako gas go. Hindi Osiak. From the crowd as well. number of young athletes out here watching. I have mentioned there's a continuation of this competition into tomorrow. We've got B and C fields taking place tomorrow and I'm absolutely sure we've got a number of them in the crowd here. These athletes will be competing tomorrow in this crowd, soaking it up, having a look at how the professionals do it. Pedro Guerrero is just having a moment to compose himself here. He's got to find something and pull it out of the bag. Portuguese athlete. Mm. He's got an opportunity to add a centimetre to his own national record, but he's looked, he has looked exhausted. That's the attempt. He opened with a huge 531 clearance. And it took him three attempts at 551, two attempts at 561, three attempts at 573. 
secure himself a second place. Pero may harapan na siya kasi may injury siya eh. May injury siya sa pec. Pati dito sa kanyang trapezius muscle. Be very hard. After ng 5.73, naranasan niya yun eh, yung injury na yun. Hinawakan niya siyang ano niya, sa pecs, tsaka sa trapezius niya. Suntok sa buwan to. But he needs to finish the three attempts eh. Although he knows for himself that he cannot do it anymore. Because of his body condition. He will still needs to push. Ano yun? Ipupush pa talaga para makita niya kung hanggang saan yung kanyang ilalaban. Kasi you cannot, it's hard to, like, pag hindi siya tinapos yun, magiging withdraw. See? Wala. Yeah. Kasi, kasi mahirapan na siyang mag, ano, ipush yung sarili niya, mag-extension. Mahirap na siya magkaroon ng power. Ayan, no? Yung parang... Parang... You will have to do more power or push. Like... Hmm. Explosive. Kailangan mas maging explosive. Kailangan mahirap pa siya maging explosive doon. Kasi because of those injuries and pain. May pain, eh. It's really hard. Well, part yun pagiging atleta, mga injuries. The good thing is, meron namang mga physiotherapy and, and therapy for that. We're now two hours na nasa competition na nun o. Thank you very much for staying with me here. And please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Yan, nag-adjust lang sila. 5.83 nakuha na ni Ernest dyan, Ibiena. Ano kaya ang gagawin niyang ano? meter? Pang lima si Alhasa si China. Pang walo. Yeah. It's really gymnastic talagang pinaka ano nito, ang pinaka foundation. Because those push, those um extensions. Most of the sports naman talaga gymnastics ang pinaka ano, ang pinaka foundation. Kasi doon ma-stretch ang mga katawan. Okay. It's Five point 
He will try 5.93. This will be quite some jump if Robbiena gets over this. Wow. Oh, he's not touched the bed. That's not a foul yet. <laughs> I do love the, uh, the optics at like Robbiena. He's a world silver medalist. He could go to any competition he wants in the world, and there's a lot of high quality comp competitions that are open to him, World Indoor Tours, the like. But this World Indoor Tour bronze level is where Opiena has chosen to open his season. And you can see it's allowed him to relax a bit, have fun with the crowd, have that interaction with his coach. You might not get that in a bigger arena. And have it all his own way and be able to choose where he wants the bar to go. He can relax. So I don't think. Vienna is going to try again in this window. He will have three attempts and he's going to have a nice long break in between. So my inclination here is that first attempt is going to be deemed a foul, even though he didn't quite touch the bed. to Ernest John or Vienna. I have every right to perhaps bid for that silver status next year. It comes with a whole lot of paperwork though, maybe not to different levels. So, a big thank you to Alphonse Yuck always for mm -hmm. providing the stats of our sport, the significance of 593 is this would be an Asian indoor record. It currently stands at 592 to Ogor Potapovic of Kazakhstan, and all the way back in 1998. So this, for a new Asian indoor record, there's always a reason that the athletes choose these heights. Vienna looking to take yet another record. No. Deeper. Si de plantis mani na sa yan ang six point zero e. house here in Ossiak, not a seat to be had, <laughs> using every inch of the track side there. Come. So, Obiena attempting to break the 
26-year-old Asian indoor record. 26 pounds to EG. It's gonna be a uh, last, last than na uh, pag uh, Paul Volt ni EJ 5.93. Kailangan makuha niya to. After ito, pag nakuha niya to, sa kaya mag um, sa try ng 6.0. Okay, second attempt. Aye. Not quite, but Obiena, big jumps here he's asking from himself. 10 centimeters at a time in his opening competition. Pag ikita siya ng petrobe. Pwede na 30 years na si Petrov na nagko-coach. Marami siya mga um, world record na nagagawa. <laughs> Kulit ang bata. <laughs> Marami siya mga fans sa mga bata. happen two hours and ten minutes thank you very much for staying here Nagaano muna mga tao, like, <laughs> cheating it themselves. Medyo matagal din gawin to. <laughs> Malapit na tayong matapos. 10 minutes na lang. Madami din fans ng mga pole vault sa Croatia.
Kaya ni EJ. Ang daming copyrighted mga music na piniplay, <laughs> nakaasar. Ito na. Last na na... Last na ito ni AJ. Yun. Let's go, EJ. Ah, di talaga. Di pa. It's fine. Congratulations, AJ, for this gold medal in this uh, event, and we are proud of you as a Filipino. And you brought the Philippine flag in the international and world stage of pole vaulting in athletics. So, ito, Sir Ernest, si EJ Obiana, 5.83. Si Pedro uh, Buaro ng um, Portugal, 5.73. So, all in trays ng oats, uh, sorry, all in tray oats ng USA is 5.61. Si Hussein. Ang Saudi is 5.51. Also, same with uh, George Luna ng uh, Portugal, 5.51. Then, si Carson Cody ng USA 2 is 5.41. Si Dan Barta, 5.31 ng Czech Republic. At uh, China is Bo Kai Huang, 5.31. 5.11 kay Ivan Horvath. Si Slovenia, na medyo nag ano siya, nag, nag um, Nag-withdraw kasi nagkaroon siya ng injury. Alright. So, thank you very much for watching these competitions. Thank you very much for watching with me. And thank you very much for the European Athletics Channel para sa, for allowing us to view this um, championship. Thank you very much and God bless. Let us support more of our Filipino athletes. And there is a World Cup series happening for gymnastics. World Cup Cat Boost that will be this uh November, the finals I November February 24 and February 25. Um, we have athletes there, um, three men's artistic gymnastics and the living ladies. See, si, sa lalaki si Carlos Yulos, of course, si Jen Ivan Cruz, Juan Miguel Bisanya, and also sa babae naman si um sa WAG women's artistic gymnastics. We have there um Emma Malabuyo and Levi. Okay, God bless you all. Thank you very much. Panawalin na natin yung mga kaganapan during the post-competitions. Um, Marami nagpapicture kay EJ, mga kabataan. Siyempre, idolo nila eh. Mga inspirations to do better, to do, to push more. Ito mga post-competition scenarios. Hindi pitlikpit din ng mga gamit. Siyempre, chichichichia. Then, after nito, pupunta sila sa hotel na pinag-stayan nila. Then, mag-dinner sila. And they'll have some conversation there. And they'll have some, some socialization and dinner.
si Portugal. Awesome job. So I think that's it. Okay, na siguro to. Na try natin mano the mga ibang mga tao. <laughs> so post celebration, post competition, I mean. Yeah, celebration kasi may bago silang record ng uh, meet meet record. Five point eighty three ni EJ. Para ni lang din mga Pilipino yung mga tao, the way they socialize to other people. What's that? We see a size announcement. Ah, uh, awarding. Okay, I think they will have awarding or hindi nila anahin. Okay, they have picture, picture. Wala nang awarding? Where's the awarding ceremony? What walang awarding? Hindi sinama yung awarding. Oh, wala nang awarding na ginawa. Strategic na lang. Photographers are there, and also, ito mga tamang spectators. So, bakit walang awarding, no? Dapat may awarding sana. Ah, ayun. Ah, may awarding naman. Pero sa video kasi, mukhang hindi nila sinama yung awarding ceremony. May awarding na mangyayari, pero hindi nila isanama. Try natin hanapin yung awarding kung meron. Pero hindi niya siya kasama, eh. Hindi nila isinama sa live. Alright, try natin hanapin yung awarding ceremony. Kung mahanap ko, kung wala, di okay lang. Sige po. Thank you. Papanoorin muna natin yung mga tao. <laughs> mga po sa competition event na mga kaganapan after the competition.